My name is Florian Engert. I'm a professor in the Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology. My field is neuroscience. I work on a small model organism, the larval zebrafish, and I also teach a uh, systems neuroscience class for advanced undergraduates. At the moment, I'm mostly excited about a, a new learning assay where we can teach fish to um, flick off a, um, a heat source by flicking left once. We can change the rule on them and say, now you have to go right. And they relearn that within three or four trials. And, and they, they think for five seconds after the heat comes on before they make a decision. So there's this um, whole process in the brain of the fish, right? This decision-making process. Um, and then it results in a, in a behavior that is shaped by experience, right? That they can really um, learn to um, go in a, in a specific direction to flick off the heat. This was extremely exciting. I got extremely excited about it. We started even thinking about um, um, relief and reward and pleasure in the form of um, the sudden coolness for the fish. And there are correlates of that that um, are um, similar to what people found in monkeys and that really allow you to relate what you find in a, in a larval zebrafish that's a few millimeters to what's going on in, uh, in the mind of humans, right? When they experience an, uh, a satisfying um, event. The advice for freshmen going to college and thinking about neuroscience, I don't think it's where the big money is. But um, you will have a lot of fun. I think the questions are still the most burning one. We, we know the least about how the brain works. I think in all of um, biology, maybe in, in all of the sciences. If you're genuinely interested in, 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 in science, I think it is a rewarding field because it, um, um, it allows you to do research at a level where you will find something that is novel and that is interesting and, um, and, it, and that's satisfying at a, at a very deep level, I think.